Good day beauty queens and good day gentlemen. So today I am going to shoot a ColourPop unboxing for you guys. And this is the Malibu uh, collection that came out. It came out like midsummer, early or midsummer. Um, so I'm a little late, but it, the packaging is still so cute. Um, and I actually wanna see what's kinda like behind the collection. Um, so it came in this box, and I'm not going to show the other part of the box because it has the address and stuff on it. But it came in this pink box. It was dent up, to be honest. Um, but they did put a lot of bubble wrap in there, so that's good uh, for the products. And what I'm going to do is just open everything because this is like my first time opening as far as the box. Um, I have not looked through anything. As you can see, there's still individual like packaging on some of this stuff but some of this stuff I need to take um open it so I won't be like wasting time opening the packaging as far as like taking the closing stickers and stuff like that off so I'm going to do that and then I'll come back to you guys okay you guys so everything is unboxed or everything is unpackaged as far as like plastic um stickers and wraps or anything like that so I tried to leave the boxes on, um, so if at any point, you know, I have to edit or whatever, you'll probably be able to tell. I'll try to make it where you're not able to tell. But if any point I have to edit because I have to take something out of a box because I am holding my camera with my other hand. But let's go ahead and get into it. So this is the palette. Also, if you hear any, like, like this sound, it's because I'm actually referring back to the order sheet to make sure I have the names for everything. So this palette is called the Malibu Barbie palette. The whole collection is a Malibu uh, collection. So this is the eyeshadow palette basically. So obviously it comes in this box. I'm gonna throw the box over there. And the actual palette looks like this. It's really cute packaging. I would rate this packaging probably like an eight. Um, only because I feel like it's very youthful. And I mean, but it's Barbie, so what do you expect? So I would say like an eight and a half or a nine. I do like that the colors do have names and they're on the back. So let's open it up. I'm pretty sure this has a mirror. I might have to put my camera down to open it up. No, I won't. Yes, this has a mirror. So I'm not gonna show the mirror, obviously, um, because I am not appropriate for you guys one reason why I'm shooting this video like this as well as I want you guys to actually look at the product not so much me um so this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like and I have to say I'm impressed uh it has hearts it has palm trees rainbows and it's a mixture of matte and um shimmer and I like that so this palette already I haven't even swatched the colors this palette, let me see if I can swatch a little bit, already gets like, oh, that's very pigmented, this one. Not this one so much. Uh, This palette already gets a, oh, wow. So the palette just went up to a 9 because the colors are pretty pigmented. Um, So I'm going to say a 9. So far, a 9. The shimmers, not so much, but the mattes. I'm going to swatch this on my hand. I mean, on my arm. The shimmer's not so much, but the mattes, definitely. So, I'm going to say this palette gets like an 8.5 to a 9 so far. The pigmentation is good, and I swatched and it still stained my fingers, so that's a good thing. That means that this is pretty good stain power in the palette, so I do like that. That's good. The next thing are lashes. So there are lashes that come in here. These are called Doll Barbie lashes. That's all they're called. So it's about, um, that's what they look like. I don't know if I'll be using these. I'm not a lash girl, but it's a part of the collection and I wanted the collection. I might actually sell these on eBay depending on how I feel. Um, but this is cute. The packaging is cute and these are faux lashes and this whole line is 100% cruelty free. Um, I do like the packaging on these a lot and this box is really sturdy. It's not cheaply made at all. So I like that. 
as well. This next palette, I believe, is a highlighter palette. Yes, it is. It's called the Beach Party Highlighter Compact. Again, this packaging is so cute. Like, I'm going to have to give this packaging a 10. I was going to, I think I said like a 9 or something like that. I'm going to have to say a 10 because this packaging is so cute and it's so Barbie. When I was a little girl, I was so into Barbie. So here's the palette. Um, I had to struggle a little bit to get that open, but that's okay. This is a highlighter palette. Um, I do like the back of this. It's like a matte mirror, if that makes any sense. I do like that a lot. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. It's like a goldish bronze color. That's the best way to describe it. This is so pretty. Let me swatch this on my hand. I'm gonna show it to you guys on my on my hand, on my other hand. Um, that's what it looks like on my hand. And these are some of like the other swatches, but this is what this highlighter looks like on my hand. That's so pretty for dark skin and complexions, like so pretty. And it's a big pen, I do like that. And it has hues of silver in it. That's so pretty. Oh God, that's pretty. That's the back of the packaging. It's got palm trees on it and it's called Super Shock Highlighter. Um, on the description of it, it's not called Super Shock, it's just called Beach Party. But that's kind of like the whole theme of this line, a uh, beach party and um, and Malibu, like Malibu beach party. So this last thing right here, I'm not gonna do. It's just a mirror. Um, I'm gonna get to the lip kits. Um, each lip kit has a name according to the order printout, but I don't like that they don't have the lip kit names on the actual container. It just has what's in the lipstick and it's a lip dual. They don't tell you like what kind of lipstick it is. So let's see. So the lip kits obviously have a lip liner and a lipstick. The top just came off of that. Um, look at the inside of this. It's got beach balls. So cute. I want to be careful with this because I don't want... I'm trying to get it out. Um, and I want to make my editing easy even though it's not going to be that easy for this particular type of video. Um, Hold on, guys. Let me try to pull this out because I don't want to break it. But I also don't want to make this too choppy either. Okay. So, as you can see, that's what the packaging looks like. So, this is the lip liner. Isn't that cute? This packaging is on point. Barbie ColourPop. Um, so, it's like a brown. Let me see if I can get my camera to focus. Let me... Hit my autofocus, get it to focus a little more. So it's kind of like a brown, a nudish brown, but light, like a cocoa brown. Um, this would be too light for me on a personal note, but it's still very pretty. I'm going to put the top back on here. It's still very pretty, and I could use it for all over my lips to mix with lip liners I mean when you know about makeup you figure out how to make things work there's ways that you can use it um, to make sure that you get the most out of it and here's the lipstick so let's see if the top comes off of this easy yeah it does so this is the lipstick so on the bottom it does have what kind of lipstick it, this is it's called golden beach it does have that and it's a nude color. Um, I'm not really impressed with the lipsticks, to be honest. I think the lipsticks were made kind of cheap. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. Like, look at it. It looks like a little girl's lipstick. But it's kind of supposed to look like that. Like, it's Barbie. So, I get it. That's what the swatch looks like. <laughs> it's like a pink nude, basically. And let me swatch the liner next to it. 
Yeah, the liner is way too light for me. I cannot use this liner. As far as like to actually line. Excuse me, my camera just did some weird stuff. So yeah. Okay, y'all. So the next kit, um, I believe this one is called Dream House. The other one was called golden beef so this one is called dream house again we know what the packaging looks like it all of the packagings look the same so at this point i'm not going to show the boxes anymore so this is what the liner looks like this liner is more like a mauve color i'm going to swatch it in a minute and this is what the lipstick looks like the lipstick is like mauve as well Ooh, let me get in the frame it's like this i can wear this I can wear and this is right up my alley. It's the last one. Now on camera it's coming off like hot pink. I promise you this is a mauve. This camera is like not doing justice right now. The light, the natural lighting is fluctuating. That's the good thing about natural lighting is that you, you get more authenticity of colors and stuff. But if the light fluctuates it can change the shade of stuff. So yeah, this is what this looks like. On camera again it's looking more like hot pink. Oh it actually changed kind of to the more original thing see what i'm talking about with actual natural light fluctuation but yeah i like this one a lot better this one's more wearable for me all right you guys again not showing the packaging for these lip duels anymore because they all look the same all the boxes look the same so this last one is called malibu sunset and this one is more of like a magenta like a fuchsia type color that's what the lip liner looks like this is what the lipstick looks like. Very pretty. It's actually coming true to color on um, camera. It looks. It's just a fuchsia lipstick. And it has Barbie written in it. I didn't mention that. But I'm mentioning it now. And that's so cute. Like I would hate to mess that up. But obviously you will mess this up when you start actually wearing it. This is more my alley too. Look how pretty that is y'all. This is so pretty. This is my favorite one, Malibu Sunset. Because it just brings out the red in your skin. If you're my complexion, it just brings everything out. This is so pretty. So the first one's definitely my least one. The second one, like my second one. And the third one is like my number one. I love this one so much. Okay, so the last thing uh, is literally a mirror, you guys. And I'm not going to like show the front of it. But the packaging of this is so cute. Look at this. It's a hand mirror. It has Barbie on the front. And it has hand mirror of course. And palm trees and sunsets and sand and stuff on the back. This is so cute. This is like. And inside it has Barbie heads. How cute is that? <laughs> I was a Barbie girl when I was a little girl. I had a whole lot of Barbies. Um, I think I counted them once and it was like 36 and that was a combination of me and my sister's Barbies. So this is what the inside insert looks like and of course this is what the mirror looks like. I'm not going to show like the other side but I'll show the handle of the other side and that's just like super cute. Super cute. I'm going to more than likely give this to my daughter because... This is like more of her alley. This would be so cute to give her. So, yeah. So, okay, you guys. That is it for this. So, overall, I will rate the entire collection about a 9. I was actually surprised with the pigmentation. Did you guys see that I still got... I was surprised with the pigmentation. The products um, were packaged pretty well. Um... I, I would say a 9 because the, the only thing I really don't like is that the lip kits don't have the names on the boxes. Hey, beauty queens. So, I wanted to come back and show you guys the um, the Malibu Sunset. Look how pretty it is. Um, and I also wanted to let you guys know that I was wrong. I don't even know what I was looking at. On the boxes, it does show the names. So, I'm going to give the collection a nine and a half i know i said a nine but i'm gonna say a nine and a half because like look at the color this is so pretty this is malibu sunset this is the liner 
and the lipstick it's so pretty and the products are actually nice um i don't know about the lashes i haven't used them yet but the lashes are like in a hefty container it's not cheaply made like it's got bar the barbie head on it um the eyeshadow has all of the names on the back which a lot of times they don't and you don't know what's what um for especially for color or these type of brands because you know they they try to skim on the packaging and just do the bare minimum but they did a really good job that's the inside of the eyeshadow box like i really do like the packaging and the products seem to be decent so that's why i'm gonna say a nine out of ten because i don't really know i haven't used them but from swatches and things like that it looks pretty on point so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um I noticed that these style videos you guys do like a lot because uh, you can actually see the products up close and you can see what's going on and you know it's not about me it's about the products in these type of videos so that's why I shoot them and I know again these are like these type of shootings are pretty highly rated in my video uploads so that's another reason why other than the obvious reason that I am not dressed today and I actually have a full day and I'm just getting up trying to shoot this for you guys so I can have this it probably won't be up till my shooting days which are Wednesday and Saturday so it'll probably be up Wednesday if I'm not too crazy busy and I don't have to edit anything but I hope you guys enjoy every enjoyed everything and enjoyed the vlog make a vlog oh it what am I talking about vlog? I'm thinking about the vlog channel, too, while I'm talking to you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Oh, look at this. I don't think I showed y'all this. Or did I? Maybe I did. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you share and rate. Um, I plan to do a giveaway for you guys, but I need to see that you guys enjoy and are sharing and rating and commenting for me to do that. Because I really do want to do a giveaway um, really, really, really soon within the next few weeks. Um, but I'm going to be watching everything to see how I'm going to do that. But if you enjoying, if you are enjoying the channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share. Make sure you like. Follow me on my social links. They're always below. I thank you guys for the love and the support that you are showing and have shown. Um, and the views and what's been going on. I have noticed the increase um, in them over the last few videos. And I thank you guys for the love and support. And I'll check you guys out. And you check me out in my next video. Talk to you guys later.